Hello everyone, we are back for another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Global NJP episode today. So we're we're switching it up. We're switching it up. We're doing something different. We're going to be doing my first ever Dokkan Top 10 tier list. And man, we're going to piss off a lot of people. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I'm trying some new stuff, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But I've never done one of these Top 10 uh, tier list uh, deal. I like to watch them a lot and watch uh, other creators do them, so... I figured, why not? Let's do it. So I hopped on to the uh, create a top 10 uh, list or whatever. This is one of the templates I found. This is the uh, top 10 Dokkan units tier list maker, and they have obviously some of the best units in the game featured here. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing this today and seeing how it goes. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, all that good stuff. But let's let's dive in, man. I'm excited. All right. So the long-awaited debate on who is number one. Who is number one? <sighs> I think uh, what I'm actually going to do is we're going to start at the bottom of the list. You know what? No, no, no. Let's let's start at number one. Let's just start up no at number one and see who, who goes from there. So for me, again, this is all my opinion and what I think is relevant in the game and my experience with these units in the game. Um, I play both Global and JP, so I've, I'm familiar with pretty much all these units and I have all of them. And I've used them a ton of times throughout the however long they've been here, but starting off at number one. It's your boy. It's your boy. We're putting Gohan number one. Yes, I know a bunch of you are probably screaming, it's Bulma. Yeah, I can <laughs> I can see that you're arguing Bulma. Um, Bulma for me is up there too. If you want to argue she's not your number one, I totally get it. No complaints from me here, but for me personally, Gohan is, I'm a little biased, he's my favorite unit, or favorite character in Dragon Ball. Also, I like his leader skill much better, and I think he just does a little more with his domain and stuff like that, so that's why I'm putting him in the number one slot. So, Gohan, ya yeah boy, future Gohan is number one, and I'm so happy they made him number, number one, in my opinion. But number two, we all know Bulma, S tier Bulma. She is very close to number one. She is an incredible unit with her defensive capabilities and her passive and support and key. Oh, just it's phenomenal what she, this Bulma can do. Very surprised they dropped her as good as they did, but man, she's gonna age very, very well. Just like Tech Gohan did for years, right? But these two are my top two. Gohan number one, Bulma number two. Again, if you wanna argue who's better, I, I get it. I really do. I just think Gohan, for me, does a little bit more with his leader skill and active, so... That's a ton of fun, man. Gohan number one, Bulma number two. I never thought I'd be making a tier list where Bulma is my number two favorite unit, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, so okay. <sighs> we have slot number three. We have Orange Piccolo, your eight LRs. Goku, ooh, he's really good too. Uh, tech, or your five Easy A's, Zamasu. Ha <laughs> uh, Again, this is for myself. For myself. <laughs> I'm thinking number three for me, just with my experience in the game. I'm going Zamasu. I am going Zamasu. He is a great villain. He's a great leader. He's a great extreme class character. He gets his domain. He gets pretty much a pass with taking damage after you get that active skill or domain up. Um, he's just a phenomenal unit. His defensive capabilities are through the roof, just like kind of Bulma and Gohan here. He gets damage reduction, and his attack stat is just insane. He is an insanely good unit, and he's one of the only extreme-type characters that really got blessed as of late. I know we got AGL Zamasu, easy eight, and he is very, very good, but he's just not on the tier list as these LRs, right? So for me, I got Zamasu at number three. Um... Uh, probably a lot of you are going to disagree with uh, with that, but too bad. This is my tier list. <laughs> so here's number three, Texamasu for me. I just I've used these characters a ton, and I think he's he's that good from my experience. He's helped me delete, uh, defeat a lot of difficult content, and he's just been an incredible unit and fun use, unit to use. So number three for me is Texamasu. Now number four, number four. Who do we got left out of this tier list? Number four goes to Mr. Orange Piccolo here. I have Piccolo sitting at number four. Orange Piccolo, since release, he's been a god. And he's pretty much helped a lot of players, even, you know, 
players that don't spend a lot of money on the game get difficult missions and content done with his, again, defensive capabilities. He is a beast. He has a giant form transformation where he saves you extra turns and does pretty good damage, and he builds up. And he just looks incredible, man. Number four for me, Orange Piccolo. He's the only reason I have a lot of the cell missions complete. The yeah, Red Max, or Max Cell, whatever his name is. But Orange Piccolo, number four for me. Number five. Number five on the tier list. Who are we going to go next? Who are we going to go next? I'm debating between two units. And I think I'm actually going to put... Uh, I'm going to put STR GT Boys at number five. With their revival skill and the spear bomb and how much they can build up, especially if they're, they got some dupes in them, they are incredible. They can get caught early, but once they get built up, not bad. GG's. GG's. So, get rid of that too. So, GT Boys, STR GT Boys, Year 8 LRs, number 5 for me. I think they're an incredible unit, especially with their standby and stuff like that. Just incredible. Now, number 6. I'm probably going to place GT Goku here for number 6. I think GT Goku is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly good. He's only on JP right now. Global will be getting him sometime in the near future, but he's only on JP. I did pull him on my GP account. He's link level 10, only 55%, but even at that level, he's incredible, man. I've seen a ton of showcases of him as well, and he is very, very good once he gets going. So number six for me is SS4 int Goku. Number, or, yeah, number six, excuse me. Number seven for me. Ooh, this is tough. Number seven. I'm actually going to put number seven at these guys. Now, a lot of you are probably screaming at me, he's not better than World Tournament Piccolo, blah, 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 blah. In my opinion, he is, because once he transforms to Vegeta Blue, he is a monster. And at that point, he is better than all the units down below, once he gets transformed. He is, oh man, he is so good, guys. He is so good, for real. Once Vegeta Blue comes out, just look out, man. I know these guys are not the greatest when they're in their just duo form here, but once they transform, active skills, dodging, additionals, crits, effective against all types, he's just incredible too. So the, currently they're sitting at num number 7 for me. Number 8. Who is going to be number 8 for us? <sighs> it, it's going to be a shame. I have to put World Tournament Piccolo here for number 8. I currently got him at 90% on my global account. I've used him a ton of times. Uh, link level 10. He is just phenomenal, man. He is phenomenal. I love this unit so much. Active skill. He gets the giant form transformation. He gets defensive. His attack stats are through the roof. He's just very, very good. And he helps his teams out a lot. So number eight for me is World Tournament Piccolo. Love it, love it, love it. Number nine. Number nine. I'm putting these two because they're basically the same unit. Let's be honest. I'm putting these two at number 9, mainly because in base form, they suck still. They are not good. You have to keep them in slot 3 or else they, they can't do anything until they transform. That's why I have them so far down on the tier list. Once they transform, they get the guaranteed dodge on that turn. They are phenomenal. Very, very good, but I'm putting them at number 9 together because, let's be honest, they are basically the same unit, right? They do a lot of the same stuff, but... The slight differences, so I could see that your, your argument for putting one above the other, maybe slightly, but they're honestly not too much different, so we're going to keep them both at number 9. Now for our last slot here, who is going to be our number 10 units? Hmm, this is kind of tough. I think I'm going to put Trunks at number 10. From my experience, I, he's just, he's better than these four to me, he's popping on his better. These, uh, these LR units, the Anniversary Physical Boys, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them, man. They get caught way too early. They can do incredible attack stats, but they're just like, they're already outdated, I feel like. They can't hold up anywhere. At least the STR boys can hold up a little more and do a little more, so that's why I picked them at number five, but the, I'm not even going to put these guys on the tier list right now. World Tournament Goku is very good. Physical God Goku is very good, and AGL Kai Goku is very good, but... I don't think they're better than any of these units on the list. So there you have it, man. My first top 10 Dokkan tier list unit. Uh, 
this is gonna be a lot of fun. If this video does well, remember to leave a like if you guys actually enjoyed it so I know which content you guys like so I can keep providing new stuff for you, but... If this video does well, and I don't know, let's, I'll shoot for 15 likes. I'll, that should be simple enough. I will keep doing more uh, top tier lists in the future. And uh, I'm actually, I enjoy doing this stuff and getting uh, yelled at at the end <laughs> by you guys in comments. But seriously, feel free. Comment down below. Yell at me. Agree with me. Whatever you guys like. I uh, enjoy reading the comments and just having fun with you guys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Here's the top 10 tier list for me for Dokkan units. Gohan number one, Bulma number two, and Zamasu number three. Honestly, Zamasu and Orange Piccolo could swip swap, but I'm going to keep Zamasu at number three just to piss off some people. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Leaf Games. Remember to subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun doing this for you guys, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Alright everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care. Bye guys.